For those who have to pay the housing deposit, this is the page you'll see. If you believe you should be eligible for a fee deferral, please check your MyCI finances and see if your federal expected family contribution, also known as an EFC, is $4,000 or less. If this is the case, you should not be prompted to pay a deposit and should contact our main housing office. If you have completed your FAFSA by the deadline and believe you should be eligible for a deferral, please also contact our office. Additionally, if you do have a fee deferral, please watch the other version of this video to ensure you get the correct information. The housing deposit is essentially a cost that gets applied to your housing fees for the term you apply for. The way you pay for this is very similar to the application fee you did at the beginning of this process. Therefore, the same recommendations for payment are in place here. As you can see in the points, please click the Complete Registration for Housing button on the Transaction Approval page and allow it to reroute you back to the housing application. If you close the browser and don't return to the housing portal, payment will be charged, but the system will not register that payment and you will not proceed through the application, so please be careful. If this does happen, please contact our office. The phone number is right here, but we will also have it in the description below. This page also has information about how much the deposit is, as well as when you can cancel your license agreement with no penalty. You can find the other dates in the license agreement, but we also have a page for all important application deadlines. We'll have that link in the description if you would like to see those. Once you've read through all of this, at the bottom of the page, you will see the payment amount, saving continue, which will take you to the shopping cart checkout. If you'll remember from the application fee, this is the window that you do not close. Instead, click on the Pay Now button, which will route you to the CashNet portal where you pay for the deposit. These steps are the same as the application fee. So step one is additional information, your name, IT number, address, relationship to CI, your dolphin email, which is your first dot last, three digits at myci.cucci.edu, your email address, phone number. Once you go to the next page, it is the payment method. Remember that a credit card has a small fee attached to it, but an e-check does not. So once you do this, you will go through your payment method. And from there, it should give you a receipt and route you back to the housing application. Just remember to let it go through. If you have any problems, please contact our main housing office.